Yep, that's me. You might be wondering how I got myself in this situation. I don't know who Jack Doherty is. I usually don't care about the affairs of anyone born before like 2000, unless they're like my kid. But as far as I can tell, Jack Doherty is a 21 year old pansexual haircut. Now he's a streamer, a YouTuber, TikToker, kicker, if that's a word. And he recently crashed a $300,000 McLaren. And I find that funny, so that's why we're talking about it. Let's go. Now don't get me wrong, I don't generally find car crashes funny, but once you see the pure self-entitled narcissism of this kid, you'll get what I mean. You just have this slight feeling of what's that word? Schadenfreude. Yes, yeah, Schadenfreude. Schadenfreude. Now as you saw in the opening clip, this dumb little fuck was driving a $300,000 McLaren down the highway in Miami, Florida during a storm while interacting with his live chat. All of a sudden he hydroplanes and that's where we left off. So here's a clip of the aftermath. Oh, my fucking car, bro. Oh, my fucking car, bro, he says while holding his phone. Still live streaming. Not where any other cars hit. Is my friend who's sitting in the front seat okay? Not even. Oh, shit. I wonder if I'm going to jail for driving a $300,000 McLaren in a fucking storm while talking to my chat. You see what I mean, don't you? This kid deserves all he fucking gets. And I don't mean the millions and millions of dollars and inexplicable adoration from a retarded generation. I mean, he deserves all the shit. He deserves to be charged. Vamos, Fuck, dude. My fucking car. Holy shit, no. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? No. Mike, are you good? I can't show you that bit because there's blood and this is YouTube. But they get pulled out of the car and then this happens. Holy fucking shit. Oh, Michael. Are you okay? Yeah. Holy fuck. No, I don't think Michael's really that okay. He's got blood pissing out of his head. But you know, let's get our priorities straight. He's not bleeding that much that he can't be your cameraman. I mean, this is good content, bro. Oh my God, bro. There's no fucking, Michael here, Michael. Yeah, film on that phone too. And what does every bit of good content need? A thumbnail? Let me just take my top off, bro. Now you might think, oh, the medical people made him take his top off. You know, to inspect for injuries, that sort of thing. I mean, that's what this clip would suggest. But no, he just randomly takes his top off. They want me to be back. They don't want me to be here. We gotta get that thumbnail, bro. We need to drive traffic to the OnlyFans. Or the VIP OnlyFans. God only knows what the fuck goes on there. Anyway, so he's on the side of the road, his McLaren's a fucking crumpled heap, and the coppers show up. And naturally they say, hey, what happened? And here's Jack's explanation. What's your name? My name's Jack. I was just, I was driving and then I just, my tires just slipped and I lost control and then landed here. Oh, I was just driving and my tires slipped and I landed here. I mean, I guess he's not lying. He's just omitting the truth fucking hard. He should have said I was being a negligent little cunt, endangering myself, my passenger and everyone else on the road. And then the inevitable happened. I crashed my $300,000 McLaren. I'm a fucking idiot and I deserve to be charged. Take me in officer. I mean, obviously from his standpoint, he shouldn't have said that, but I wish he said that. And I hope that's what the record shows. I hope they watch his live stream and he gets what's coming to him. I was in the all in the left side and I just went there and then I, I, I just, I don't know what happened, I just lost control and I think I'm just going here. I, think, I don't know what happened. He still can't get off his fucking phone. Unbelievable. I mean, that cop should be able to figure it out pretty easily. The guy's addicted to his phone. He was on his phone and crashed his car. He got pulled out of his car and his first priority was, hey, make sure you're filming me, bro. And now he's talking to the cops and he still can't look away from his fucking screen. So let's look at the aftermath because that's pretty amusing too. 
All right, guys, I got my filmer a brand new 300 horsepower supercharged jet ski as a I'm sorry gift for, you know, getting him in that McLaren crash. He's been wanting this for literally ever. It's my birthday today, but it's our birthday after what I put him through a couple days ago. All right, guys, so my filmer Michael just got back, and now I'm going to surprise him with his new Hey, Michael, buddy! You know how we were driving in my McLaren the other day and you got rock-solid evidence of me being super-duper negligent, causing you to get a gushing head injury? Well, on a completely separate note, here's a jet ski! Is someone filming this? We need more fucking content! I'm so glad we're best buddies who would never dream of suing each other. TikToker Jack Doherty begs for donations after totaling $300,000 McLaren during livestream. Fuck, dude, they are just shameless. People like this are so fucking cringe. They're so entitled. You fucking crashed your $300,000 car. You shouldn't be asking your audience to pay for it. But they've got no shame. Of course you'll do it. Controversial streamer Jack Doherty has been roasted online for begging viewers for donations after crashing his brand new McLaren 570S supercar while texting and driving in the rain. In a TikTok live titled Help me make back my McLaren. Doherty asks everyone to double tap the stream. We're almost at a million likes, guys. Let's see how fast we can hit it. Thousands of viewers simply commented with the word gay. <laughs> One clip from the live stream showed, even as donations poured in, many on social media were bemused. Everyone who's giving gifts should not have a right to speak, one ex-user commented. Another wrote, donating money to a kid that drives multiple supercars is wild, lol. The 21-year-old was live streaming himself behind the wheel of a $200,000 car. 300,000 Australian, I guess. Driving down a slippery highway in Miami, Florida on Saturday morning. You know, if the deep state did have the power to control hurricanes, you reckon they could have done us a solid and pointed that motherfucker to towards this little c**t's garage. But no, he'll brush it off, he'll keep begging for donations, and our schadenfreude, schadenfreude. will only be temporary. Everyone uh, double tap the stream, we're almost at a million likes, guys. Let's see how fast we can hit it. Let's see how fast we can hit it. James Ellis, thank you for the galaxy, bro. I just followed you back. Guys, let's see how fast we can hit my galaxy. I'm gonna follow everyone back once we hit it. Appreciate y'all. Cole with the galaxy, thank you, Cole. I appreciate it. Thank you, Aiden, for following Life Creator. How'd you crash your car? I hydroplaned. I literally hydroplaned. I'm in a McLaren in the pouring rain. What do you expect? You guys have never drove a McLaren. Anyway, I found that amusing. I thought I'd talk about it. I mean, it happened like a week ago now, but I didn't want to jump straight on it because I wanted to see if there was going to be some, like, ramifications. And I hope there is. The guy should have to answer for this because he genuinely put innocent lives at risk. Anyway, follow me at Twitter. It's at bear underscore ing. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Catch you later. Ta-ta. Bye-bye. Session, session.